Oh, hi there. Uh, I've been reading a lot of forums. Uh, people are wanting to know uh, how to run uh, Windows XP from the iPod or USB USB advi uh, device. Uh, well, uh, today I'm going to show you that how to do that. First of all, open up your internet browser and go to the following website: www.mojopack.com. Uh, press enter. You can find this link on the right-hand side of this description of this video description. Okay, now you go to the website and then click on uh, for individuals. Uh, you see the Mojo Pack uh, uh, link over there. Just click on that. Just wait for it to load. Okay, now uh, as you can see, it says carry data files and your applications such as Outlook, games, instant messengers on a USB storage device or a iPod. Okay, uh, what you gotta do now is just click on download. And uh, now you, uh, it's going to ask you which one you want to download. Just click on the free download one. And just click on download again. Just click on save file. And then just let it install to your computer. What you can do with Mojo Pack is uh, basically you can go to any computer, any Windows XP computer, and uh, uh, connect your iPod or USB device and we'll start running uh, Windows XP and you can save like your applications on the on it's, it's like a actual Windows XP running you can open up MSN Messenger you can go uh, on the Internet Explorer browse everything so it's like an operating system and the amazing thing about it is you can uh, carry on a USB uh, device which is pretty amazing or you can carry on your iPod as well Okay, just waiting for this to download. <coughs> Sorry, one second. Nearly done. Okay, now that's done. Let's click on X. Just gonna exit this. Okay, now you can see that uh, the Mojo Pack is on my desktop. Just gonna double click on that. Click on Run. Okay, uh, now it's going to ask me uh, it's installation. I'm just going to the I'm going to click on this. So I agree that this product is licensed for personal, non-commercial use only. And uh, now it's going to ask where do I want to install uh, the Mojo Pack uh, on a iPod, a portable USB device, uh, on in a directory uh, on my host, which means on your computer. I just click on uh, an iPod or portable USB advice. Just click on that and click on I agree. Okay, now it's going to ask you uh, select the drive. So I'm just going to click on that. And uh, now you can see there, there's my iPod. Uh, I've got 145.94 gigabyte free. So I'm just going to click in there. Uh, you can have even had like a 128 MB uh, USB memory stick or anything. Uh, uh, okay, once you click on that, uh, a disk performance uh, will start loading, which this analyzes uh, how good your uh, USB device is, which my iPod is in the yellow, uh, but the more on the right hand side it is, the more better it is. I mean, this is on the yellow coming near to the green, which is pretty good. Okay, so now I'm just going to click on next, and uh, now it's going to basically install the Mojo Pack on my iPod. This might take a couple of minutes, uh, uh, but uh, you now you'll be able to start using uh, the Mojo Pack, uh, also known as the Windows XP, uh, from your iPod, or if you installed it from your US, or if you installed it on your USB device. Okay. Oh, uh, that might just appear, but I know it's still running. That happens sometimes. Just wait for it to install fully it might act like if it's frozen but it's not really frozen you, all you gotta do is just wait uh, as you can see they're 100% completed now just click on next and just wait for the next page to load
I'm just running in the background just trying to signalize everything okay now it's gonna ask you for a registration page okay as you're using the free one so you don't need to click you don't need to type in any serial key or anything just make sure it's uh you've clicked on the mojo pack freedom not the mojo pack dulux as have to pay for that okay now you go down here you all you gotta do is just register uh register with them i'm just gonna type in uh anything uh, let me just type in youtube uh, user uh, password I'm just going to type in any password uh, confirm the password uh, you have to register with this or you won't let you use it okay now uh, once you've done that uh, it's going to ask you to uh, register for the mojo pack website information okay now uh, which is used on online okay now I'm just going to click, uh, click on that web username just type the same in YouTube user and uh, the password I'm going to type in and confirm the password and just type in uh, your email address I'm just going to type in any user.com okay uh, and then you got to click on I agree to terms of use and uh, the privacy policy then click on next and uh, now it's just going to send the information uh, to uh, Mojo Pack and uh, now basically the installation is complete uh... here it asks you uh... it tells you like the different kind of files they are on here or if you want to copy uh... any of your like uh, bookmarks your favorites or anything to the mojo pack you can also copy your your documents there um, anything you want really but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to click on finish over here or if you want to you can add some folders as well if you want any specific folders you want copied and uh, pasted into there click on the finish and just wait for it to load at uh, first it might be slow as it's the first time you're using it but then uh, after the first installation uh, once you've restarted your computer it'll be okay okay now uh, you'll see uh, the mojo pack is trying to connect to my iPod and uh, now it's, it's already recognized my username and now it's asking me to put a password in so I'm just going to put my password in and uh, click on login uh, as, it as it says here you are running mojo pack for the first time on this on this device installation may take one to two minutes this process will occur only once thank you for your patience so uh, this will only occur once uh, you won't have to do it every time and uh, uh, the first time might just take a couple of minutes that's all it's going to take but then after it's going to be instantly I'm just going to wait for it to uh, load basically what it's doing now is just configura configuration to the computer so it's copying all the files folders etc but I mean I didn't take any so it's not copying any it's just saying it all up so I'm just going to wait for that Should be, it should nearly be done. What this basically is doing is uh, opening up the Windows XP from my iPod. Still waiting. I think it's nearly done now. Should be not more than a minute, I think. If you want, you can just forward the video a little bit. Oh, no, and here it is.